Oh. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight, we're back in Pollen, and we're not gonna mess around, we're gonna go straight down the shaft, because last time we opened the door in the lab, and uh, I wanna go find out what's in the cave. I'm assuming we're about to see this, you know, much discussed entity. But, um, okay. <laughs> uh, I hope it doesn't catch up to us because it looks like it's eating the side of the shaft. And that's not great. That is not an, a wonder. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, good. Oh. I, th I thought it was like gaining on us, but I, I guess it just moves in concert with us. I would say we're being expected. It is intelligent, right? So. Uh, anything? I know I'm missing a few tapes from, like, the void. You know what? Hold on. You know what I really like? I like that the pipe makes sound. I don't know why, but that's, like, a little piece of detail that I really, really like. Okay. Go check out this... Finally. You came. Aaron? Aaron, how can I hear you when I'm in February 1995, eh? Stuff around, and this is clearly going to the dig. I've waited so long now. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, I can hear her, but there's clearly a warble on her voice, which makes me believe that either I'm in the void already, you know, that... Wait a minute. This thing, it's being dissolved right behind me. I'm so in the void. Okay, so there's no going back now. I'm in it for, I'm in it, <laughs> in for the penny, in for the pound on this. Okay. I'm gonna keep checking behind me to see when it catches up. Okay. Um... Yeah, I get that, Karen. Uh, where are we, though? Can you lend me a little insight here? What's going on? Because... Because I'm confused. Although, maybe... Here's the, here's the idea. Maybe the same thing is happening to us as to actually happen to Karen, right? We don't need... Okay. Uh, explosive, explosive. No? Okay. Well, I don't know. I thought maybe set it off. Because, remember, they tried the gravity gun. Gravity gun didn't work. They tried... They were gonna try the explosives, but that, I guess, fell by the wayside when they all got disappeared, essentially. What is this? Oh, no, 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 no. Um... Uh, I really don't like the fact that I can drop myself into the abyss here. That's not great. Is that... I mean, is that an option? I'm just wondering. Okay. Uh... Alright, fine. We're not gonna... We, you know what? We're not gonna tempt those fates. <laughs> I was like, well, we could try, but I kind of don't want to. Okay. Oh! Oh, well, hey. Hey, how are ya? Um... Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna keep going, then. I am 100%... Yeah, it's definitely moving with me. Check this out. Yeah. Okay, so... Whatever happened to us happened to Karen before we showed up. We will work this out together. Uh, I'm sure. But you kind of went nutsy. Remember, the last tape we heard in The Void was of her saying she's going to open the door, she's going to come down here, and then she's basically going to, like, step into the entity. Okay. Oh. Yeah. 
I like that my guy is now, like, having labored breathing problems. Wow. Okay. And it's clearly eating the entire quarter behind me, so I am just in its, like... I'm in its thrall, basically. I'm just... Yeah, and everything. Every one of my electronic pieces is just going nuts. Uh, okay, so... Karen is now... For all intents and purposes, I'm gonna say Karen's probably part of this thing. But she's part of this thing from the void. Which raises... Okay, well, we're not gonna touch that until we're good and ready. I don't know what that does. Um... Which raises the question of whether or not she's really in the future, right? Or whether the void is the future. It's the future for her perception because she can still keep time for herself. It doesn't mean that it's actually on a timeline or anything. And I am willing to believe, and I actually do believe, that it probably isn't on a timeline anywhere. Because then all the other stuff isn't really well explained. Um, wow, everything floats. Okay. Okay. Um, is there anything we can look at that's not the flower? I kind of don't want to touch the flower right now. <sighs> okay. Whoa, easy. Okay. Karen? You got something to say to me? Ooh. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I felt myself falling there. That's not good. Okay. Uh, so, the flower. That thing really is cool. Look at that. Like, it's totally a fractal something. It looks like it's just pulsating at the edges. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, I, I imagine this is exactly what Karen was doing. I don't know about the flower part, but... I suspect that what is about to happen to us is not that we're going to go to the void, because we're there. I imagine this is going to be something slightly different. Huh. Well, I can't drop it now. Wait, what? That's not good. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, Karen. I don't know what the word we means in this situation, eh? Uh... Karen... This is what they didn't want to happen. Oh, I get the feeling this is the end, guys. <laughs> It's, this has a very end feeling. Wow. This is a oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Very cool. Yeah. So this is the fractal edge of the of the thing, of the entity. Okay. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna sit back and kind of watch this. I may chime in once in a while, but for the most part, I get the suspicion that we're just supposed to sit here and watch. Uh, for whatever happens next.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're in Earth? We're in Earth space, at least. We're back in a capsule. We've clearly brought the entity with us, because look, I mean, look at the effects and the swirls and, and, and basically look at everything almost freezing. What do you know? Karen's not with us. Oh, man. Uh, that was very trippy, but very cool. A, I like... Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. The end. That was great. <laughs> you know, some people will say, oh, it's a little abrupt or whatever. I think that was perfect. All right, you always knew you were going to come face to face with the entity, and you always knew that that was going to sort of be the peak of this game. And here come the credits. Okay, well, while the credits are going, we're going to do our usual thing. All right. Uh, I thought it was great, as I said. You know, you meet the entity, you find out that, you know, Karen has, a, this is my interpretation, has merged with the entity. I don't know why she wasn't the one to take it back to Earth, probably because there was no ship, right? But she's now merged with the entity. You come in there, and instead of merging with it and becoming a part of it, waiting for the next traveler, it merges with you. Basically, then lets you take it back to Earth, right? So essentially, all the stuff that the poles were talking about. Now, the question is whether you believe that it's negative or positive. I like to believe that the pole research is probably right. That, but but I like like dark sci-fi endings. <laughs> uh, but the idea that you know, this thing wants to go to Earth because it wants to spread, essentially. I tend to... There's nothing... I haven't seen anything, and it hasn't presented anything in the game to run counter to that idea, right? Right. It's all a single-minded desire to get off Titan and go to Earth. And if you really think about it, right, it assimilates Karen and then basically says, join me, we'll go home together, and we will take home what we've gathered. And that's frightening. And the point is, when she says, we can go home together, if you look at the capsule, she's not in the capsule with you. It's only you. So we means you and the entity. And now you're in Earth space. So, uh, so I'm hoping there's a sequel. Um, although I don't know if, I'm, if I necessarily would be interested in having it set on Earth. It may be something like outsiders looking in. Could be like a space station orbiting Earth and just watching it get consumed. That would be interesting. Uh, but in any case, setting aside the game itself, the substance of the game, uh, I think I think the developers did a wonderful job in creating this sort of retro future setting, which was believable and consistent. Right? It started off with the premise of computers are confined to research labs; they're not an everyday thing. And then how do you and and the Soviet Union and the U.S. have cooperated in the space tra in space race and have shared all the information publicly, and from that they've built out a very well realized world, right? Everything's tangible, everything everything's clunkier. There's not quite as well streamlined. The books are well books, but then the newspaper articles, the video games, the music, the the other pieces of technology. Everything fits within the logic of that universe, of that retro future. And then by the same token, the idea of this decrepitude that happens in the void, I thought was very well done in that, again, it's consistent. Once you get in the void, everything's falling apart and everything's in a shambles. Uh, but you can recognize all the places from, from what they are. And I thought that was amazing. I thought that was very believable. That was great. And... You know, I showed you, unfortunately, I couldn't play in VR, but I think if anybody is playing this in VR, it'll be fantastic. I mean, from the short piece that I had, it was amazing. It it draws you in in a way that lets you fully interact with everything. So, fantastic game, fantastic experience, fantastic gameplay. Congrats to the devs. Oh, we're probably going to load straight back into the main menu. That's fine. Uh, highly recommended. Highly, highly recommended. And that's it. So thank you guys as always for taking the journey with me, for coming on the adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you enjoyed it. Let's me know that you want to see more of this kind of uh, this kind of stuff, these kind of games. If you have thoughts, and this is pretty uh, pretty important because 
I do want there to be discussion. I do, and I feel like this is the type of game with the type of ending that should spur discussion. So if you have thoughts, if you have ideas, if you have speculation on what happened, if you liked it, didn't like it, whatever, leave a comment. You know, everything's welcome. I want you guys to discuss this. I think it's a great game for discussion. Uh, everything's welcome, like I said. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better